Hello, my fellow warriors, and welcome back to the Forgotten City mod for Skyrim Special Edition. Uh, we have talked to, I believe, all the city folk uh, down below, and we are now... We are now going to talk to the people in the Citadel, especially the Jarl, because I don't like him. Who are you? By the eight. I hear you took on a band of marauders by yourself, you buffoon. Next time, come and get me. I'll show them what for. Yeah, because you're so much of a better fighter than me. Name's Castellus Vitus. Military engineer of the Imperial Legion. Ooh. Out of action right now. But don't worry, mm. I'm still in the service. What about you? I'm staying out of that conflict. Now that's just the sort of cowardly nonsense I'd expect from a Stormcloak sympathizer. Off with you then. Go on. Go bother s- mm. Well, I suppose you're right. But don't think that friendship will last if we ever get out of here. You understand that, right? Uh, so you want to get out of here? If I did, I'd be up there, fighting the good fight for the Legion. I'm not stuck in this hole like an old bear during winter. So you're not happy being down here? Spit it out, then. What do you do around here? Actually, suspicious behavior. Suspicious behavior, you say? Ah, so the Yarl has found a task for you. Keeping tabs on us? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me, friend. Mm -hmm. Well, the Citadel's mainly full of good Imperial stock. So you don't have to worry too much about them. But now that you mention it... A superiority complex. I've been wondering if the Citadel isn't haunted. Every now and then, mostly late at night... I swear I can hear a woman sobbing. Really? I'll be damned if I know where it's coming from, but it's not Gaia next door, so who could it be but a ghost? Gods know a lot of died in here. Huh. Interesting. Jarl's got me working on repairs to the Citadel. This place was built to last, but it still needs an engineer's touch every now and then. Door hinges need to be oiled, cracks need to be patched up, and that bloody water pipe in the bathroom is constantly springing a leak. But it's a good idea to make yourself useful around here. No doubt the Yarl will make good use of your skills too. Whatever those might be. Hmm, do you understand the technology behind the Citadel? Yes, well, not completely. A little. I think I understand the pipes that run all over the place. See, they mainly carry water. There's a single pipe on the top floor bringing water from outside the citadel inside. Water then trickles down from each floor to the lake. But that's not all. It seems the water flowing through these pipes causes these gears to rotate. And when that happens, they somehow create light. The dwarves were brilliant engineers. I doubt I could hold a candle to them. Not that I would need to with all the lights in this place. Huh. Oh, have you been working on your workshop? Ah, yes, my workshop. Well, of course, as an engineer, through and through, I couldn't resist the urge to dismantle some of this dwarven technology. How complicated can it be, I thought. As it turns out, it's extremely complicated. You see these gleaming dwarven busts in every room? Well, I think I know what they are. They all seem to be connected to the pipes running all over the city and down the front of the citadel. And I've seen these things before in other ruins. But these are different. Their eyes are glowing with blue light. Have you noticed? But whenever you see one of these things, remember, someone or something is watching everything you do, waiting for you to break the dwarves' law. Hmm. Interesting. Right you are. So, people are being watched then. Anything in here? Hmm. 
don't know, to be honest, I think I'd much rather live down next to the lake. It's nicer out there. I mean, not, nothing wrong with the Citadel itself. It's just... Map updated. Uh, huh. Okay. <sighs> I think some of this might actually get cut out. still or why do you live in the you still read night mother's truth I thought we were done talking and I thought you were done with the brotherhood hmm anyways where is the way up there we go from the Jarl to Vitus. Dear, uh, probably Vitus. Dear Vitus, if I recall correctly, I asked you several times now to repair the cracked wall pipe in my bathroom, and yet it continues to leak. If it's not repaired properly soon, I am concerned the whole wall will collapse. Fix it immediately. Sincerely, Jarl Metellus. Okay, so he's under pressure from the Jarl, but he didn't seem disgruntled or anything, so I can honestly say that I don't think he's an issue. Alright, so that's going down. I don't want to go down. I want to go... Oh, wait. Oh, another note. Asanshi. Dear Chef Asanshi, I am reliably informed that you have been filling my daughter's head with ideas about the illegal and soul-destroying substance used by degenerates all over elsewhere, Skuma. It appears you may not have been entirely forthcoming with me about your personal history as a disgraceful skooma addict prior to arriving in my city. I will be watching you closely. I remind you that you are in a privileged position of trust and confidence in my citadel, and if you do not conduct yourself with the utmost propriety, you will very quickly find yourself living in squalor in the city below. I trust I have made myself clear. Sincerely, Jarl Metellus. This guy is a jerk. Uh, so what, I can make her drunk or whatever and find out something from her? Interesting. Underhanded, but interesting. Oh, that opens. Okay. Did I already open that one? Oh, oh, hello. Everybody's talking about how you killed those looters. I'm a little busy, but what do you need? What's your story? Uh, you think if you butter me up, I'll start making food for you, too? <laughs> Forget it. My kitchen's for Citadel residents only. 
go make your own food. I just want to talk to you. Well, fine. My story. I'm the Citadel cook in this life. Not exactly how I thought my life would end up. But it's better than it was on the surface. What was your life like on the surface? Uh, that. Seems like a long time ago. I had a very easy life for myself in Markarth. Married to a silver merchant. Maybe it was a little too easy. I was bored. <laughs> a lot. Started looking for something to do. A friend introduced me to Skooma. It was fun. For a while. But you know how it goes. I was a living cliche. Lost my husband, my home, my easy life. Then I found myself uh, doing things I'm not proud of. That's when I realized if I couldn't keep myself away from the skooma, I'd have to keep it away from me. So when I found the entrance to this place, I knew what I had to do. Haven't touched the stuff since. Still get the cravings. <laughs> Sometimes I'd kill for one last bottle, but no point in thinking about it down here, right? Hmm. Okay. All right. See you later. Interesting. Hello, dear. Oh, hello there. Oh, I already talked to you. Never mind. That's fine. I've got a lot of food. So, this has all been very fascinating. Uh, the baths. Oh, okay. There's the leaky. Oh, this is the Earl's bathroom. He gets his whole big bath all to himself. Wow. What do we have here? Who are you? Wait, are you the My Earl's daughter? Told me what you did to those looters. He says you're dangerous and I should avoid you. I think we're going to be good friends. So your father trusted me to investigate nice to people. In the Citadel who isn't an Imperial for a change. Oh, I like her. Hey there. What's your story? Well, as you know, the Jarl is my father. Or, at least, that's what he tells people. What he doesn't tell anyone is that I'm adopted. And the worst part is, I don't even know why he adopted me in the first place. I mean, he doesn't seem to care about me at all. Sometimes I feel more like his prisoner than his daughter. If we weren't trapped in here, I'd run away in a heartbeat. Interesting. Your father sounds very controlling. Oh, he really is. He's always telling everyone what to do. I don't know how everyone puts up with him. Did you know he calls this place his citadel? And he and his friends don't do any work. Everything gets done by the people down in the city. He'll probably try to make you work for him too. Oh, he has. But don't just do whatever he says. People around here should really learn to stand up to him. You know way out of here. You know my father would be upset to hear you ask that. I love it. Me? Not even allowed out of the citadel. I'm so bored. Father doesn't want me mixing with common folk. 
He's all, why don't you read one of the books Gaia brought you? Books. <laughs> I'm almost 18. I want to have fun, like, like normal girls my age. Or do anything to take my mind off where I am. I thought about getting one of those awful Nord tattoos. Father would hate that. <laughs> but then that bitch Asanji told me about her skooma habit. I don't want to drink it. Oh. oh, but if I get some, I just know I could get that junkie to spill her guts about everyone in this place. Great! I wouldn't even know where to start looking. But there's got to be a stash or a recipe somewhere in the city. Come back as quick as you can. Hmm. Dear Journal, today my father gave me this stupid journal in hope that I would write down my thoughts and feelings. <clears throat> I know you're reading this, Father. I may be young, but I'm not stupid. I know you would like to or I know you like to go through my things when you think I'm not looking. You get to keep your secrets, and we both know I, I, you like to keep secrets, so I'm keeping mine. Sincerely, Dwamora. Hmm. Interesting. Any luck finding him? Not yet. Calm down. Any luck finding his boomer. Okay, so hello. Got my eye on ya. <laughs> there you are, you jerk. Hello again, my friend. Any Could I ask you the matter we discussed? Could I ask you to clarify something for me? Of course. What do you want me to clarify? Why are you a creep? What do you want from me? I need you to investigate the city, talk to my people, help them, if it'll win their trust. You can even go through their position. You must work as Yarl. I authorize you to go anywhere you... You're welcome. Now, was there something else? All right. Well, let me know when you've Dead. worked it out. I'll have to trust your judgment, and there's no going back once you point the finger. Trust me, I know. Okay. Hello again, my friend. Shut up. Any word about the matter we discussed? Shut up. I know you're using me. Hello again, my friend. I'm thinking I need really need to find some skooma. Whoa. Dang it. stuck. Wait, I wonder if what's her name would have a uh... actually first thing I need to check the uh, trader. 
if he's there. He never seems to hang out in his shop like he's supposed to. Hey, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Looking to make a purchase, my friend. What have you got the for sale? Where's for you, my friend? Potions. Do you have any? There we go. Miscellaneous. Yeah, actually, take your. Uh, All right. Actually, do I have anything I need to sell? He only has the gold that I've given him. Wow. Yeah, I don't need those arrows. Okay. Uh, yeah. Guess we're done. Well, I have Skuma now. Which means I can go back into the citadel, find and saw and son son and and, and sa sashi and sanchi and sanchi, uh, cook chick and or chef or whatever, and go and see if I can get her to spill her guts about everybody in this place, because there is definitely something going on here. I don't trust the Arl at all. I mean, he's... Well, okay, right now he's not the one that's going to cause the issue. That's the thing, is he could very well be the one that's going to cause the issue, and, you know, he just doesn't know it yet. Is that the... Yeah, that's it. Hey. I'm a little busy. Is that what I think it is? Can, can I... Whatever you want, I I could give you food or information. You find out all sorts of secrets being a chef in a place like this. Will that do? Yeah, tell me about this place. Well, there's Marius. He's growing plants in his room that can really only be used for making poisons. Not sure what he's up to, <laughs> but it's nothing good. Okay. Have you met, uh, Sephira Indomitus downstairs? Sephira despises that rude bastard. <laughs> I don't blame her. Not that she'd ever say it to his face. I already knew that. I think I've told you enough already. Now, are you going to give me the skooma or not? Uh, I told you my story. And you use it to squeeze information out of me? You're disgusting. Get away from me. Here. Before I tell the y'all you spat in his food. Where's, uh, what's her name now? She was on the top floor. I wonder if I could still give it to her. wonder what kind of information she would have had. I'm hoping she'll still be amiable. Is that her? There she is. Any luck finding some spuma? Oh, that. I'm over that now. I've come up with a much more interesting plan. How would you like to help me teach my father a lesson? Um, what do you have in mind? Well, you know how the only locked room in the city at the other end of this hall. Nobody's allowed in there except my father. Even I have never seen what's in there. And I'm his daughter. We can't risk stealing the key from him with the dwarves' law and everything. But there must be another key somewhere in the city, right? Two identical doors. Two identical keys. Or maybe you can find another way. Once you get in, have a look around, and then come back and tell me what you find. And I'll use his little secret to mess with him. <laughs> Alright, I'll see what I can Great. do. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on his face. 
<sighs> okay. Well, because I'm curious to see what's in his... in this room as well. But identical key, though. Where would I find something like that? Well, I'm... Well, the door... The door in that palace... That uh, abandoned palace was almost identical. So I wonder if maybe... Dang it. Ah, I get turned around in this place. Um, the door in that identical, or the, the identical door in the abandoned palace. I wonder if maybe one of those coffins has. Get out of here before I tell the yard. I'll give you the skooma now. Food. Eric, you want the skooma? I don't really have use for it. Uh, where's that? Uh, drop. There you go. Skooma right there. It's right there. It's right here. Okay. Don't take it. I don't care. What is it? Shut up, dude. Who, wait. Oh, shut up. I don't care about you. Who are you? Dominus. What's your story, I'm jerk? Sorry, what's my story? What an oblivion is your story? How dare you come in here like you own the place and expect me to explain myself to you? Oh, my apologies. I'm Clark Narf. I don't care who you are, but pay attention. There's a pecking order around here, and I'm at the top of it. Hmm? Well, after the yowl, of course. So work hard and do what I tell you, or you'll wish you died and gone to oblivion. Got it? <laughs> Nonsense. Not even a peasant like you would be stupid enough to do that. Everybody knows it would break the dwarf's law and get us all killed. So I'll speak to you and the other peasants as I see fit, and there's nothing you can do about it. Got it? Now get out of my sight. I want to kill I'm this guy. Sick of you. I wonder what happens if I if I kill somebody. I'm curious. Get away from me. Nice. <laughs> oh, whoa. What? Whoa! So that's how I get back to the original timeline is to is the you can actually just kill somebody and get back to the original timeline. Hi there. You gave me a bit of a fright. I thought I was in here alone. Um yeah. Uh, yeah, you're Altrius. Your sister asked me to come and find oh, you. That's a relief. Say, I didn't catch your name. I'm Clark Narf. Really? That's strange. I was just reading an old journal I found here. It was burnt, but the last entry mentioned someone with the same name. What did it say? It described an event about seven years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the lake house. Said hardly a word to anyone. Walked up to the Jarl and murdered him, breaking some kind of ancient law. It said this triggered a horrific event which killed everyone in the city, while the stranger just disappeared in a flash of light. Uh, 
coming. Huh. I'm not sure I understand. When I first arrived here, I found your corpse hanging from a tree. Uh, I'm sorry. Come again. Uh, I still have your suicide note here. Um, let me see that. Gods. This is my handwriting. I have spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles. This is... This is horrible. But I, I don't understand how I could have written it. It was written by a different version of you. I changed the past and your I, fate. I'm not sure I understand. When I killed the Arl, I stopped him from opening his time portal. So, you're saying, because you stopped a time portal from being opened, I never went through it. And that's why I don't remember any of this. Now you're getting it. I guess you saved my life then. But... Look at all the death and destruction you've caused. There must have been another way. And now you and I are going to have to live with the knowledge of what happened here for the rest of our lives. I almost wish you'd just let me die. Enough talk. Are you ready to get out of here? I've been ready to get out of here from the moment I set foot in this place. Any ideas of how we escape? I have one idea. There might be a way out through the bathroom, through the pipes that bring water into the city. There's a cracked wall. I'm not strong enough. But I think if you hit it really hard with a mace or a warhammer, we might be able to escape through there. It's this way. I know where it's at. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna leave this episode here because... Oops, I shouldn't have done that. Crap. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. Whew. I was freaking out there for a second. I thought I had no way to get back to the other timeline. Since apparently there's multiple endings to this, I'm going to go ahead and just... Um, yeah, just leave this here. I'll finish this ending which I stumbled upon and I'll do the net the uh, I'll go ahead and continue the investigation with the other ending when I go back to reload so thank you for joining me on this episode of the Forgotten City mod for Skyrim Special Edition I am the Holy Warrior God bless you all